guys, so as I promised, I'm going to be doing the how to bathe your guinea pig video. Um, and I'm going to be bathing olive, so yeah. Um, and here's the supplies you'll need. You're going to need a shampoo, um, and I use the Vet Solutions, which is a prescription shampoo. And it's aloe and oatmeal. And I used Fire Groom Natural Oatmeal for the rinse conditioner thing. And then as a little freshener, I use Perfect Coat Studio. And I'm going to be using the apple scent. So yeah, and that's my little camera positioner. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway. Um... First you want to, oh and by the way, you don't have to use these brands, you can use um, baby shampoo, just don't use anything that has like, don't use human shampoo besides baby shampoo, just use something that's really gentle, something that has aloe in it, gentle ingredients, something like that. Okay, so I'm going to be bathing olive, um, and she's a senior piggy, so I have to be more careful, well, speaking of careful, more careful with her. And before you bathe, you want to take a flea comb, buy them anywhere, and just go through their fur. And this will just get out any of the dirt that they have between their fur. And in the description, I'll put things like questions that I usually get about bathing your guinea pigs so you can read that and if you have any extra questions you can just post those below she has this little ridge of fur right here because she's part ridgeback piggy which is a breed of guinea pig yeah okay so that's pretty good so now we're gonna bathe her Okay, so first, line your sink with a medium-sized bath towel. Just like that. And now run your water. Don't stop it up yet, because you got to find the right temperature. You don't want it to be too hot, but you don't want to be too cold. Just get it so it's um, about this one. So first, line your sink with a medium-sized bath towel. Just like that. And now run your water. Don't stop it up yet because you got to find the right temperature. You don't want it to be too hot, but you don't want to be too cold. Just get it so it's um, about this one. Okay. Now wet down your piggy. Don't get their ears wet unless you absolutely have to.
Don't want to get it too high up. Okay, that's good. Okay, now get your shampoo ready. And uh, put about this much in your hand. This is a bit clearer, so. Now don't drink the water. And just soak their bodies to about right here, like right on this area, right? Before you get to their head area. Oh god, the water went out. Okay, now once you shampoo them, you can rinse them off. And get your rinse ready. And do the same. It's okay. Oh, that was lovely. And be sure to get their stomachs too. Just lay them on their stomachs real gently. Okay. Then you go curl on. Okay, now run your water again. Okay, check it, check it, check it out. It's Saint Tanner again. Step is step. Okay, now after you bathe your guinea pig, you're just kind of want to, um, gonna want to dry, towel dry them. And if you want to, you can blow dry short hair guinea pigs, but don't blow dry long hair guinea pigs. Let them air dry, um, because it's bad on their fur. Uh, but short hair guinea pigs, you can blow dry them. Make sure you use a low temperature setting and. Make sure you use a low speed setting too.